Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video next match. Cross Balanced Cup. So back again at Group B here, top uh, part of the cup, as you know. Uh, next matchup, we have one of the older decks in this year's Cross Balanced Cup being Baboon Burn, Short Bub Burn from 2007. It was actually a huge deck back then. Short period for the TCG. It's going to take on Grand Soil Psychics, a, a decklist from Jeff Jones, if I had the exact decklist right. But uh, again, also a deck that's not um, too familiar. Familiar, I think, for the the biggest public, but back then it was actually a quite of a solid, you know, deck overall, earth based, as you see, um, sitting and you know, like you know, piloting without basically any traps, but mostly focused on hand traps like Tragodia, Gorse, Failer, Maxi, and so on. It's going to take on this particular deck, Baboon Burn. In the OCG, it uh, felt much more nostalgic, much more powerful. I believe the OCG also got access to more Baboon uh, in the main deck, but I'm not sure about this. It has been like <laughs> so many years. But uh, in the TCG, when we uh, actually got Baboon, it was uh, relevant or you know uh, allowed to be played at I think one copy. Um, and also, I believe it was like a show and jump promo card. It was years ago, so. You know, stuff like Foolish Burial to immediately dig for the, the, the much more, uh, at least the also important baboon was uh, very crucial. Because again, it's somewhat of a slow deck, burn oriented deck and stuff like what Jama Trio back then was... Um, was a problem because nowadays you have Link Summon, you have Synchro Summon, you know, you can just get rid of them. But back then it was very hard to get rid of Ochama Trio. So stuff like the, the Panda, I'm not going, not going to butcher the name, it was very strong. The Trample damage, attack over defense, plus the uh, gain, uh, I believe it's 500 attack for every monster your opponent controls, could immediately, you know, pump it up to like over 2k. And let's say if you have stuff like Gravity Bind or uh, Level Limit Area B, you're kind of fo uh, forcing your opponent to put their monsters into defense position, right? I'm going to my MVP, which is Scrap Dragon. You know, Scrap Dragon just once per turn pop. And if you're having that against like a burn oriented deck, a stall heavy deck, Scrap Dragon is the card to go to. Um, Ariza definitely could have. Ah, okay. No, I wanted to say it could have been problematic, but I see cores in my hand, so. Ryza would have been fine attacking for two uh, and uh, you know 2400 damage and then I just would have dropped the course right so that's uh, that's all fine. And, uh, uh, the Psychic Witch, it's uh, very similar to a Giant Rabbit Witch on its own. Uh, triggers when she's destroyed, uh, so let's say by Scrap Dragon also. And then during the next standby phase, you can special summon the monster that was banished by her effect. So it's very similar to Giant Rat. And uh, yeah, some combos are with, for example, Jumper, you know, Jumper has like that built-in creature swap, plus it's also a tuner, opening up the possible Naturia Beast or Barkion, uh, same counts for the um, the level 2 tuner, which I, it's... Uh it's uh, the 500 attack, I, f I think, you know, when it's like special summon from your banished pile, it gets, um, um, you know, stuff from your uh, top of your deck, I feel, or I think. So the, 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 the concept back then, it was quite surprising, I believe Jeff Jones back then, it, again, caught the, the, the metagame by surprise because of this. Nobody knew how to play against the deck or what surprises it had, and I'm definitely looking at Grand Soil, right? pre rata by the way, keep that in mind. Um, this is a crucial one, being able to monster reborn your opponent's baboon is, is a crucial, again, the thing though is that uh, green baboon back then had, um, at least now it's, you know, a new ruling around it, you can't use currently, with the, how the, the card is currently uh, errata, is that uh, on this moment, 2021, you can't use green baboon in a damage step, if I'm not mistaken, but back then, it was no problem, so... Let's say your opponent attacked into Giant Threat or Nimble Momonga, you could just use your Green Baboon's effect and drop it to the field off of your graveyard. And then, you know, back then, back in 2007, dropping a beat stick just like that was was devastating. And um, But then again, you, you see that the deck feels quite strange because you're running burn cards, which essentially are a minus one, like Secret Barrel, Just Desserts, uh, Ojama Trio in some way. But, I mean, believe me, back then it, the concept was very strong. Um, yeah, mess, mess, again, Messenger of Peace, but I'm sitting on Scrap Dragon, so I should be good to go. Uh, there aren't really too many Battle Traps. Mirror Force is already gone, so I, well, Magic Cylinder maybe, but, um, you know, just keeping Mystical Space Typhoon is probably just better to go for it like this in the end phase, hitting the trio, hitting, I don't know, 
Secret Barrel, even though those aren't the biggest cards, just desserts or whatever. And um, the second Typhoon is actually a nice top deck, uh, again, which is indeed activating. And that, yeah, yeah, I was about to say that it's going to put the fifth earth in my graveyard to drop the Grand Soil to the field, right? So. Uh, again, not once per turn, well, the Grand Soil effect, so I can just reborn two monsters and eventually attack for a game. Not sure, is Gorse already gone? I don't think so, but this time there wasn't uh, a Gorse to be seen. So now going second again, and this open hand is okay. Uh, definitely, you know, going for the, the ham situ situ uh, situation, yeah. Trying to, you know, like, flood my field with a lot of monsters, Cyber Dragon, the, the Psychic level 4, and go from there. But I do up to Typhoon, again, just in case, because of Mirror Force. Um, not sure the deck is main making Torrential Tribute, but the uh, Jamaju was fine, because it opens up the, the Scrap Dragon play. Small downside, though, is I can't go for Cyber Dragon, and... Uh, this was a mistake. Um... Back in the days, you always had to respect Gorse. It's very similar to nowadays, you have to respect Nibiru. Well, back then, you had to respect Gorse. If you didn't, and you attacked with your biggest monster into your opponent's empty field, and your opponent dropping Gorse on you, most of the time back then, it would just switch the game upside down. Your opponent take control of the duel, and um, it will end up you, you know, you know, you losing you the duel, and that's what happens here. So I definitely should have respected Gorse and not attack with Scrap Dragon, and you know, keep it, keep my. Um, uh, effects uh, intact, right? The potential scrap dragon during main phase two definitely could have, could have saved me against the gores, right? So, but yeah, that's 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 how it is. It, it, it's fine though. I'm I'm two zero uh, in front, so losing one game back then I was like, okay, it's it's fine. And the grand mall uh, again, very similar to this deck, just bouncing back. And uh, if your opponent is under, like, or is, is, is behind uh, stuff like Ryza and Grandmold, just put your opponent much more behind, right? So going first this time, normal summon card trooper to get the three mills, hopefully, you know, milling those earths for the grand soil and uh, of course Trooper will just replace itself for the extra draw. Level limit uh, is cool but this deck isn't really hindered by it so that's why I'm going to reborn the card Trooper especially because I, again I have grand soil in the hand it was a top deck I feel and uh, deal some damage I could go for like an exceed play to you know again bypass the potential um, uh, level limit but again going for bark you all Hmm, maybe I should have gone for, well, any Exceed play, right? Probably that would have been better, um, because I have Royal Degree, right? I mean, Royal Degree is just going to shut down every, thra every trap, while at the same time having a an extra rank 3 on the field for some more attack power definitely could have helped out. Soul of Silver Mountain was back then a cool tech. It's like, um, I believe it has like a breaker effect, you know, like like uh, stun one of your opponent's back row cards. But the second effect though is uh, also, or could also have been important, is that when it like destroys an opponent's monster by battle, I believe you can reborn, is it an earth monster in your graveyard? Yeah, and special summon it, right? So again, that that's very solid because basically half or almost his entire deck is consisting of uh, earth monsters. So. You're just working towards like your grand soil um, to your Naturia Beast and or Barkion to prevent your opponent from using spells, using traps and uh, pumping out those big bosses uh, together with, you know, your grand soil for example. Teleport was at 3, so I can, you know, very flexibly use that small combo featuring the level 4 Psychic and Black Rose, you know, with the chain links, Black Rose, Black Rose indeed, blowing up the entire field and uh, the target is being able to reborn, you know, from the Banish Pile and now I can deal the last damage and go for a game. So that's how it is. We've seen in the votes that over 80% of the people voted for Grand Soil Psychics to take this one over the Baboon Burn and um, yeah, stuff, we've seen that before, right? Stuff like Naturia Beast, um, Barkion, the side deck definitely. I'm looking at Royal Decree, Mystical Space Typhoon, Hand Traps. Um, Definitely came in clutch, especially also here in this particular matchup. So that's how it goes. Green Baboon is staying at two points and is pretty much out of the tournament, but both Chaos Return and Grand Soil Psychics are definitely still alive in a tournament. And both will take on each other in the you know next round uh, when we are going to get back to their group. Um, 
So yeah, next, ma next matchup is going to be a good one. We have extra deck monarchs from 2016 versus... Ooh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Versus uh, Luna Light, so 2019 as a top dot deck. So again, like always, feel free to leave your predictions. And of course, the community tab will be open soon for voting. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leakum signing out. Peace.